All right, hi, this is Math with Dr. Claire. I'm Claire, I'm here to do some statistics. So I'm hopefully going to be learning some statistics. This is something I've been wanting to do a video series on for a couple of years now, and I keep putting it off. And right now my life is moving in what feels like slow motion, and I am so desperate to just get something happening. So I'm going to start doing these videos, even though it would be better, I think, if I waited until some other stuff had happened, but too bad, we're doing it, it's time. So let me tell you a little bit about my plan. The backstory I guess first is that I have a math PhD. I took a lot of pure math classes, um, did qualifying exams in some math topics, then did a dissertation in math education. And through all of that education, I've never taken a statistics class. Not even anything like adjacent to a statistics class. I haven't taken a probability class. I can barely do measure theory, which like some people might say is like maybe related to statistics. I don't even know. I haven't done any of it. I haven't taught a statistics class. I barely even know. I, I think if you brought me a statistics problem, I don't even know if I'd be able to do it. So I don't like that. I want to learn. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. But I love learning. I love finding things to learn more about. I'm very curious and I think a challenge is really exciting. So I am going to be learning some statistics and I think it'd be really neat to kind of watch me. Well, I think it would be neat. Hopefully it is to watch someone who has a mathematical background, learn some new math. Um, so hopefully seeing kind of how I process through ideas and how I'm thinking about it will help you out. So in this video, I'm just going to talk about my plan for how I'm going to learn, hopefully. And this plan will probably change, but I have an initial plan to start and we'll see what happens from there. So back in February of 2023, I was still on Twitter pretty actively and um, I tweeted about wanting to learn statistics. And I got a lot of responses, partially because a statistics um, educator or communicator, science communicator, retweeted my tweet. And so I got a ton of comments from people but I actually think that the person who retweeted it, that's Kareem Carr, I think that his ideas are probably actually the better ones of the ones I got from that, all of the responses I got. And so I'm going to start with some of those. I just think that's a good place to start. It was very simple. I felt like he understood that I had some mathematical background and that it would be helpful to maybe learn some higher level math adjacent to statistics. I'm not totally sure what I'm getting into. We will see. So um, the two things that were recommended. First was a book called Statistical Inference, which is a textbook by Casella and Berger. So I was able to um, locate at least the first couple chapters of that book to start with, and then I'll probably buy a copy myself. And then the other source that Kareem recommended was R for Data Science, which is an online resource. It's like a textbook, and I think they maybe even have some data sets. And so that's, I'm going to use that, I think, as a supplement to do some coding with. Although honestly, I'm kind of interested in doing um, Python, but I don't know, R is probably good too. So uh, yes, I mean, maybe ChatGPT can just help me go between R and Python as needed. Anyway, I'm ahead of myself. But those are the two resources that were recommended there on Twitter. And then in the comments or like the other responses on Twitter, a lot of people also mentioned the YouTube series called Statistical Rethinking. I think there's also a textbook that goes with it, uh, but that's by Richard McElrath. Um, and I don't know if I'm saying his name right because I went on YouTube and tried to find like versions of him saying his own name or people introducing him and I really struggled and he always just says, hi, I'm Richard. So um, anyhow, that's more than you needed to know, but I tried. So Statistical Rethinking is an online series. There's also a book by Richard McElrath. So I think between those three things, it's actually probably like more than enough. Um, but what I'm struggling with is sort of, I like on this channel that I tend to do example problems. So I might need to find some other resources for that. I used an online homework platform when I taught before I was teaching in Washington. So it was WAMAP, which is the Washington version of that. But they also have my open math, which is in like the everyone else version, I think. So I'm looking to see if I can get in access to that to get some problems to work with. And if not, you know, there's always textbooks and problems in there, but I do like having online homework to look at. So we will see, that's the other idea. So I have the statistical inference textbook. I have R for data science, which is an open source textbook. And then the YouTube series, Statistical Rethinking. 
So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do first. I kind of want to start with the first video from Statistical Rethinking. Um, I think it might be good to like hear a more... I don't know, I get the sense that um, Richard's take is a little more open-minded or more modern on statistics. So I'm interested just to kind of hear his like more honest approach. So I think that might be a good starting place, but then, you know, the types of problems that students would typically see or like the actual skills that I might need, I think I'm gonna need to get from other sources. So um, I'll probably look to the textbook next. Like maybe I can just read the first chapter and do the problems. So it's interesting. Um, let's talk about learning for a second and learning math. Um, I've never done this before. I've never like learned myself, learned myself a math thing. Um, I've never embarked on learning something mathematical on my own without the structure of a course. And so I'm not entirely sure what makes sense. And I think what I might do might not be what I'd recommend for someone else. So what I might do is read a textbook and then do some problems in that textbook and maybe check my solutions with some sort of solutions manual. Um, that's kind of how I was taught. So I was taught to read a textbook and do questions from the textbook. But I feel confident doing that because I have some mathematical experience where when I read a textbook, I can sometimes read it and go, that was explained terribly. That was a terrible explanation. And having that ability to kind of metacognitively read the text and make an assessment, I think that helps because otherwise you can read a text, like a textbook, and it might make no sense. And you might think, wow, I'm so stupid. They're so smart and I'm so stupid and I don't get it. And instead, I have some confidence where I'm like, I know I'm not dumb. I know I can do math, even though I might get scared sometimes. So if I read something and I don't get it, I can say, all right, maybe I didn't understand it explained that way. Maybe I don't get it yet. Maybe this just isn't explained very well and I need to see it presented a different way. So having that will kind of help me stay engaged. I think if I was a student like doing this who maybe didn't have as much mathematical confidence, I wouldn't recommend that because it could be totally disheartening. So I'm hopeful that by watching maybe me unpack some of this stuff, that would be a better way for a student to engage in some self-teaching of math. So I don't know, this is all just kind of an experiment. We're just trying things out. And at the end of the day, I wanna learn some statistics. So I'm getting something out of this no matter what. Okay, so I think that's the plan. I will start by watching one of the videos. I'll look at the first chapter of the textbook and I will report back. All right, let me know what you think about the fact that I have a math PhD and haven't taken a statistics class. I know I'm not the only one. I've met lots of math PhDs who have also not taken a stats class. And then I meet lots of people who don't have a very strong math background who are extremely shocked. They're like, how did you get a math degree without taking a stats class? Um, but yeah, I don't know. It just happens sometimes. Um, yeah. Let me know what you think. Uh, have you tried to teach yourself a math thing? How did it go? And yeah. Any comments you have related to this is good. I'll be back once I've learned some math to report on how it went and to actually teach it some of it to you. So that's the other thing I'm gonna do is learn some of it and then I'll let you know what I learned and how I make sense of it. Okay, that's it for this one. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.